Hey, it's Cassie from Cassie Director and in the Cinema 4D tutorial I will show you how you can set up studio lighting like the soft boxes on the side and the top light like that will reflect in the item in the object we want to make like this awesome ball with a nice background let's get started so first you go here to the light settings and go to floor so next is go again on go to background then go and click on your floor layer right click comp cinema for d tags and then compositing here in the tag settings you check off the self -shad shadowing and make a check on compositing background when we render that you get one big background so it will combinate the floor with the background the so next steps go to create a sphere or what object you want to have in the studio so click here and I'll use a sphere sphere and to I will to uh, make it on the floor I have a plugin it's called a drop to floor the link is in the description it will drag your sphere direct onto the floor. Next step, let's create the studio lights. For that you go to create a new plane, drag it up and scale it a bit down so it's not so huge. Then go to MoGraph and Cloner and drag your plane into the Cloner. When you have that, click on your Cloner so get the options here and click on the object tag and change it from linear to grid away next step change the middle count to one and increase the size of the first one so you get like that and the last change it to so you have now nine of these um, lights Next, go and position it how you want to have it, maybe like that. So scroll a bit out and drag your light up. Next, create we create the material for that. We go to File and New Material. Double click there and turn off Specular. Go to your color and change it to light. So uh, that then go to click on luminance, and that's it. Uh, that will be our light, so click it and drag it on your clone object. When we render that now, it looks not good. So we need materials for our sphere. For that, go and create a new material. And here, you choose your color you want to have. I think I use a purple, uh, a pink. And click on reflection set it as uh, brightness to around 10 something like that on texture you choose Fresnel and the strength to 15 so it get a great look and turn off specular apply that to your ball so before I forgot it, we need to change something on the light uh, color. On luminance, we need to change it to around 250 or 300, what you like. I will change it to 250, a bit brighter. Then go into the render settings and go to effect. Check on ambient occlusion and global illumination when we render that now it will look like that not really good so we need to drag down maybe the light a bit and put more lights in it select clone and drag it a bit down make our another plane drag it up Hit R for rotation and rotate it a bit and drag it on the side like that. And we will ins 
insert our sphere that we set to the other corner over there and rotate it so you can see it like that, make it a bit bigger so hit S for scale so So now we have to set up our sphere and our plane. Next step is go to make the illumination on the plane and sphere. So when we render that now, and now you can see it's a studio setup with the lights on the top, the soft boxes on the side and it's a nice background. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you next time. Bye!